Welcome back. We're in the kitchen this morning with Lady Ren. We're talking about spring cleaning for our bodies. So we're whipping up a dish that will shake away the winter blues with a recipe with pure and simple ingredients. Lady Ren, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. We sprinkle in the house, so we should sprinkle in our bodies. I love it. There Bringing out the fresh herbs yes. for springtime. Yes. I can smell them even from here. I can yes. smell the fresh herbs. Oh, nothing like lemons and basil and parsley. And like you could see, simple. Mm -hmm. Olive oil and um, Lady Brand Chef's Blend all purpose seasoning. Okay. And what uh, we will make today, and you'll see how simple it's to put together. Okay. We're going to make a lemon herb or zo. Yum. And serve it along with um, <clears throat> trout. Okay. And this is going to be a trout pan seared mm -hmm. with a lemon herb sauce. So did you catch this trout yourself? I did. I, I got it. I would have guessed. Uh-huh. You know me, right? Yeah, you're always wild, out wild caught. fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we, and here, that's why I said it's so simple to, to put together. So, Lee, um, you can go ahead and generously sprinkle on the trout, yes, okay. and the, in your the saute pan and that's the good thing about it because it's not loaded with sodium or pepper the mm -hmm. seasoning blend and you would put it skin side down in that one this one okay. yes just you in some it, olive oil yes just okay. a drizzle of and as you can see it's not a lot it's right. just a drizzle okay. and you will cook it three minutes per side this can also be done in an air fryer oh okay, yes. okay. And now, um, so the orzo, we had uh, start yeah. halfway, and I'll have you okay. finish that up now, Carolyn. Yeah. And so zest. You want to some lemon zest? Yes. Okay. And what it is, you would um, cook your orzo and about eight to nine or ten minutes, depending on the texture. And then we have some olive oil, some minced garlic, and we would just toss it around with the orzo. Caroline is adding the fresh lemon zest, mm -hmm. and I'll show a way how you could do this very simple, my dear, this way. Oh, and okay. I'm around. like, yeah, that wasn't really working. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then that. And, but that's how that okay. goes. And then just kind of mix it around. You mix it around. Okay. And here is the fresh chopped herbs that we had prepared. Okay. And you can just um, sprinkle that in. There you go. And nice. That, and you smells that? fresh. Yes. Mm -hmm. that herbs make all the yes. difference. Right. And then what you would do to finish up the fish, we had cooked these, these two fillets. Okay. And I like to put, um, that's what I had over here, Lee, when mm -hmm. we were heating up the oil. Um, and so you would have the oil that I seared the fish in, and then you would just put a squirt of lemon juice. Okay. Our, oven, our stove is not working, by yeah, the way, this morning. But we work in the <laughs> That's oven. That's why you don't hear it. Yeah. But we worked in the oven. Right. She and warmed then, up. do you like capers? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, capers. Okay. Add the capers. Yes. Add the capers. Add a dash of the um, chef's blend. Okay. Yes. About how much? Is that a dash? That's a good, yeah. And I like, um, do you like balsamic vinegar? Yes, I do. I like a little too. So, just a little bit of that. Okay. Stir that around. Nice and little And this is going to go over the top of it. And this is what, yeah. Kind of some yep. seasoning for the top. So we have seasoned it. And this is what goes. You can drizzle this for me, Carolyn. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Look at that. The handle is just a little bit warm, so I'll hold it. Okay. And then you just drizzle. All righty. Just kind of all over the top. All over the top, however nice. you like it. Okay. A nice little sauce, and that didn't take much effort at all for that. No, sauce. no, and that's what I like about when you um, pan sear, because the oil, the little bit of oil that you sear the fish in, it, it, ha it trapped the juices already. Yeah. And nice. this is how you finish this up. Very nice. And then, and it and just looks fancier than if you just had fish does. and you yeah. take it out of the oven and you get. Looks the, like we're at a at a restaurant. At a restaurant, it's all fancy. Mm -hmm. And if you like cheese, this of is part of it. You could sprinkle course. some on your orzo. Yes, we definitely want that. Ooh, I want to try this orzo. Ooh, that yeah. is that I, that's right. You said you love orzo. Yeah. So, Here's a clean. Okay, should I just go for it? Go get... for it. Okay. <laughs> we Why were, not? We were talking earlier about um, getting our hands mm. into cooking. Very good. Would you like a dish? That would be great. Yeah, there you go. Yum. I like it. That looks really good. And that was really simple, too. How long did it take to cook the orzo? Nine minutes. 
Oh, yeah, that's all. And what it is, okay, is, that is a okay, fancy okay. Warzo is a, it's a pasta that resembles the grain, the, the rice grain. Mm -hmm. So you, but you don't want this al dente like you would do with the pasta. So you would cook it to a nice texture, not mushy. Sure. Eight, eight to nine minutes is a good um, texture. And then you would drain it out, put the olive oil, some minced garlic, then toss this in there and stir it around like we did. Lovely. And finish it up with the fresh lemons. And like you said, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. It does. Lemons are so refreshing and healthy for our body. It removes toxins, vitamin C. Okay, fish wonderful. Is loaded with all kind of good stuff. Can we taste the fish? Please do, yes. If I it to grab a fork. I'll just keep enjoying this uh, orzo, the orzo over here. <laughs> it's just really good. There you go. It's like pasta, kind of, like you said. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's Lee, you go for the fish. Let me taste. I'll go for the here. orzo. We're gonna have Lee. Uh, yes, mm. there you go. We're gonna have some fish breakfast here. Yeah. Nothing like, nothing like fish. breakfast. At nothing like breakfast. Right? And fresh. Fish at 6:45 a.m. Right. <laughs> never <laughs> like fish any time of that's the day. That's right. Yes, and that's very good. We should eat fish at least twice a week. It's very nutritious. Fresh and yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's really and good. you know, a lot of people will say, "Oh, well, it's fishy." It's fish, it's the oil from the fish. Mm. However, it's also how the fish was handled. So the way to not have that fishiness is cold water. You take oh. the fish and you put it in cold water to give it, I call it a bath, uh -huh. and lemon. So, I so this is before you cook it? Before That's you cook it. That's good to know. It. Yeah, so the, the raw fish, the uncooked fish, cold tap water, and a good squirt, like a half of a lemon, if you have two fillets, mm -hmm. the juice, and Drop the lemon in there as well. Hmm. There you go. Let it sit for about three minutes. It removes all of that, and you, oh, and you could add a, like a teaspoon of salt as well. It tracks it, it, and then it extracts all of that fishiness. There you go. That's good to know. I, I did, did not know people, that. Some people shy away, I think, from fish because yeah. of that fishiness. Yeah. So that's good enough. But it all starts with how you prepare your food sure. before it gets to your taste buds. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much You're for being welcome. here. And we thank also you. know people can go to your website yes. to learn more about your cooking lessons and all of that fun stuff. That's right. Ladyrands.com. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And I think, Lee, you're going to tell us about the weather. Are you going to, is the weather good enough to go fishing with Lady Ren this afternoon? <laughs> yes. You and Lady Ren can go fishing this afternoon. <laughs> it's going to be nice outside.